All right, in this video, we are going to talk about the mean and standard deviation of a discrete random variable. Okay, so first, with the mean, we'll talk about how to calculate it and then uh, what the significance of the mean is. So um, the mean of a discrete random variable is denoted by mu sub x, all right? So that is a, a Greek letter, and it is basically like a lowercase m for for us okay in with the uh with our alphabet so um when i write it it will look oops when i write it it will look like like this when i write it so kind of like an m uh, like a fancy looking m so and then uh, sometimes when you are talking about um, random variables, uh, you'll have multiple random variables. And so if that's the case, then you could have the mean of one random variable and the mean of another random variable. So in that case, uh, you'll, have, you'll see it subscripted, like with an X there, um, or a Y, or whatever the random variable happens to be. Because if you just use mu, then um, you know, and you have several random variables, you don't know which variable it is uh, that you're talking about the mean of. Um, but if there is no confusion, if you're only talking about one random variable, then you'll just see it written as mu, okay? Now, the formula is here. Remember, this is the uppercase Greek letter sigma. All that means is add up all of this stuff. So this formula here tells you how to do it. So little x is a value of the random variable. And so little x times the probability that capital X equals little x. So each of the values right in a discrete random variable has a probability associated with it. So this says take those values, multiply it by its probability, and then add them all up. Okay. So uh, that is how to calculate the mean of a discrete random variable. The mean also has a couple of other terms that are associated with it, the expected value or the expectation. If you hear people talk about that, then uh, that also is uh, talking about the mean of a discrete random variable. So there's a few, three different terms you might uh, hear about it, or uh, uh, hear. All, they all mean the same thing, right, in this context, and that is the mean of the discrete random variable. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate that out. All right, first we'll look at this example. So in this example, I have a, dis a random variable, uh, capital Y, and it has some values associated with it. So I'm going to write those down. And so the values are 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the probability that capital Y equals lowercase y, uh, that is 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 0 0.3. Okay, so it looks like this. All right, so what you want to do is to multiply these things together. And so what you would do is make another column over here. And this is going to be y times the probability that capital Y equals y. And then just multiply. 1 times 0.1 is 0.1. 2 times 0.1 is 0 0.2. 3 times 0 0.5 is 1.5. 4 times 0 0.3 is 1.2. Okay. All right, and then what we would do is add all those things up, and that would be the mean, okay? So when we add these up, we get um, 5, 2, 2, and 1 is 5. So that's going to be 10, carry the 1. So we'd have 1 carried and then 2 others. So that would be 3 altogether. 
So the mean of this random variable is 3.0, okay? Uh, so what, what is the significance of this number that we have, the mean here? So that means if we repeated this, um, this is a discrete random variable, right? So if we repeated this experiment over and over again, right, and looked at the value of y over and over again, and look, took the average of those values that we would get. So maybe we get a one on the first time. And so the average would be one out of one. All right, and then maybe we get a two on the second go round, right? So the average of the values for y would be one plus two, which is three divided by two. All right, so you would add up all the values of y that you get and then divide by how many times you repeated the experiment. All right, and in the long run, if you repeat this over and over and over again, the average that those numbers are gonna get closer and closer to this number here, 3.0, okay, in the long run. So that is what the uh, significance of the um, mean is. All right, let's take a look at the next example. All right, in this example we have um, in 5.32, and I might be able to get away with writing this on the same slide, which would be great. Uh, it says persons per housing unit. The random variable Y is the number of persons living in a randomly selected occupied housing unit. Its probability distribution is as follows. So we have the probability distribution of a discrete random variable here. Okay, and um, we want to find the mean of the random variable. All right, so same calculation. We would list the values out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then list the probabilities out. So here I am just making this little chart. Hopefully that's enough space. So 0 0.26. The probability of 2 is 0 0.327. The probability of 3 is 0 0.161. The probability of 4 is 0 0.147. The probability of 0 0.065 or 5 is 0 0.065. The probability of 6 is 0 0.022. The probability of 7 is 0 0.01. All right, let's take a look and see how that looks. That looks okay. Uh, it is a little bunched up, but hopefully that'll be all right. All right, so this is the probability of Y, uh, capital Y. All equals lowercase y. All right, over here in the next column, we would calculate these things out. All right, so in this column, we would have the value, lowercase y, times the probability that the ca random variable, capital Y, equals lowercase y. So take and multiply these values by their corresponding probabilities. All right, so 1 times 0 0.265 is 0 0.265. All right, and uh, 2 times 0 0.327 that would be 0 0.654. And then 3 times 0 0.161, that would be 0 0.483. And 4 times 0 0.147 would be 0 0.588. 5 times 0. 0 0.65 will be 0 0.325. 6 times 0 0.022 is 0 0.132. And 7 times 0 0.013 will come out to be 0 0.0. 
zero nine one. Okay, and then what we would do is add all these things up. Okay, so let's see, where do I have that right here? So zero point two six five plus zero point six five four plus zero point four eight three plus zero point five eight eight plus zero point three two five plus zero point one three two plus zero point one nine one so let's see, that's not what I got before. So let me double check up. Oh, yeah, right here. And 0 0.2.538. So when I add all of these numbers up here, and so that is the mean. Okay. So if we went and uh, looked at, say, like all of the... Um, in this case, we're talking about houses, right? So if we went and counted up the number of people living, right, in all of these houses, um, uh, or visited a really large number of, of, of these houses, and then we counted up the total number of people living in these houses, right, and then divided by the number of houses that we went to, we would expect that number to be pretty darn close to 2.53. And the more houses that we looked at, right, the more and more we did that, the more uh, that we would, um, the number that average would get closer to 2.538, okay? All right, so there are the calculations for the um, mean of the random variables. So just multiply the values times the probabilities and add them all up, okay? And the, like I said, the interpretation, right, of the mean of a random variable is, um, is this right if you have a large number of independent observations of a random variable so in other words whatever experiment that you're looking at if you repeat that over and over again right in an independent way so that the uh, so that each um, observation doesn't doesn't um, is uh, independent right of, of of the other ones then the average value of those observations will get closer and closer to your mean uh, so that has a name. It's called the Law of Averages or the Law of Large Numbers, if you hear people talk about that. One really uh, interesting place to me is where that works is in the casino, um, right? The, the people that run the casino, they have calculated out, you know, these, um, the, the, the uh, expected value or the means of the discrete random variables, right? The, the games that you play in the casino, right, are, are, um, are games of chance, right? So, and and then the money, right? You can think of that as a random variable. Uh, if you win 10 bucks, then the value is 10. If you lose 10 bucks, that's minus 10, right? So you, you might think about, say, like a roulette wheel, right? And where you, um, where you bet on double zero, right? Every single time. Sometimes that's gonna win, sometimes that's not going to win. Right, and then you'll win or lose money. So that money that you win or lose, right, that's a random variable, and you can calculate the expected value of that, or the mean, sorry, of the random of that random variable. So that means that, um, and the casinos have have done all that, right? So that that means that in the long run, when you when people play these games over and over and over again, uh, that average money, right, is going to get closer and closer. Their average winnings are going to get closer and closer to to that mean of those discrete random variables. And they're all negative, right? So the casino knows, hey, it, uh, the longer we keep people in here playing, right, the, the more money in the long run that, that we are going to take in. And so that's, that's the business of uh, the casino, okay? All right, so in the next video, we'll talk about how to calculate the, uh, the uh, standard deviation of, of these random variables.